Hello everybody, in the last class we got introduced to digital to analog conversion and we discussed uh, weighted register based uh, DAC and binary ladder based DAC. In this class we shall look at some other uh, important aspects of a digital to analog converter circuit. Uh, in this we shall see that how we why we need to use a buffer amplifier and what sort of buffer amplifier we use for a DAC circuit. And there will be other than buffer amplifier, there are some other additional circuitry that will be required for a full fledged DAC operation. And if there are multiple signals uh, need to be converted uh, to analog, then how uh, I mean one possible scheme that uh, uh, can reduce the number of DOC that is required for the conversion. And we shall discuss some of the performance issues here and more performance issues we shall take up when we discuss ADC together with ADC we shall look at them okay? and then we shall look at one practical uh, IC okay? uh, that is DAC 0808. Okay? Now uh, in the last class uh, towards the end we had seen that uh, the ladder based uh, uh, DAC which is more preferred compared to weighted based uh, register based uh, DAC. Uh, so, in that ladder based DAC uh, depending on how you terminate what is the you know the load the output voltage becomes different is not it. So, with 2 hour termination we had certain voltage with uh, very high input uh, very high resistance termination some other voltage which is close to full scale voltage. Okay, but if the different uh, if the load varies then the voltage will vary right. So, if in such situation with variation of the load the uh, there could be a misinterpretation of the uh, digital input that is there. Okay. So, we need to have a uh, have an arrangement by which the uh, variation in the load should not affect the analog output that is getting generated and for which we uh, think of putting a buffer circuit uh, and also if amplification uh, is required. So, buffer amplifier put is you know uh, that, that can be put at the output of a ladder is it clear okay so we do because with loading effect if the voltage changes we have seen that isn't it that uh, then uh, how what i mean what was the corresponding digital input that part will not be very clear okay it could be considered that some other input was there so the integrity will be lost right so this is what is our consideration at this point okay so, buffer is an intermediate circuit that isolates uh, or separates one circuit from the another. Okay. So, the uh, uh, circuit that we discuss here is an operational amplifier op amp based circuit and here it is a uh, connected in a uh, non inverting mode right? and this is a unity gain. Right? So, this provides a very high uh, input impedance and it does not uh, load the circuit and whatever is the uh, uh, input here the output will be at that side okay and this is what i was uh, uh, telling that uh, this output voltage which changes with the load that part we want to avoid okay now there could be another circuit this is inverting uh, non inverting uh, uh, op amp okay so it can be used for uh, using uh, inverting uh, mode uh, uh, op amp also so, for which we can have uh, a circuit like this, right. So, this is the op amp uh, circuit, this is this side you can recognize, this is the ladder uh, network, right, and uh, this MSB, right. So, MSB produces a current. So, V by 2 is the, its uh, you know the effective uh, voltage, 17 voltage, and divided by the output resistance, which is R. So, V by 2 R, and here in this case it is V by 4 and resistances are. So, the current produced is V by 4 R and similarly it will go on right V by uh, 8 R, V by 16 R and so on and so forth. So, this is the current that is going uh, to in this direction right and uh, since uh, is it is virtual ground uh, it is not actual ground. So, this current will get diverted over here okay? is not it that is how uh, you know op amp works. So, again you have to uh, review your op amp theory uh, or otherwise uh, remember this specific uh, aspect of uh, op amp uh, being used in non inverting in the previous case and inverting in this particular case how they work in these two modes. 
Okay. So, uh, the output over here this is the final analog output will be this uh, minus r times because it is a inverting uh, amplifier uh, multiplied by all the currents okay all the currents right so accordingly it will get minus vy2 minus vy4 and so on and so forth so if you add them up you will get the equation that we had got for the uh, dac now we have got uh, a buffer put in between with using an op amp is it clear so this is used uh, at the uh, output of the ladder fine but that is not all there are uh, more things uh, that are required for a, a dac to work so these are additional circuitry so let us see what are uh, they so uh, what you see over here to begin with let us consider that this is these are some flip flops okay so this is actually a resistor right so this register uh, as many number of flip flops as many number of bits that you are looking for uh, conversion from digital to analog okay so here four bits are shown but it can be extended to n bits is it clear okay so this register stores the digital information right so as long as it is not gated i mean input is not changed so the output is remaining true so the value is not changing Okay, this is important that output remains stable. Okay. So, based on this value, based on this value, this is high or low. So, this precision voltage source and level amplifier holds a value at its output, which is a very precise voltage of uh, say 0 volt or some higher voltage, in this case a 10 volt. Okay when this digital to analog conversion is happening it should not change okay, okay. it should remain true uh, for this dsc conversion otherwise the output will be uh, you know uh, something different from what the digital input is so this digital data is shifted here held and precise uh, corresponding you know uh, these binary outputs voltage levels are uh, placed at the input of the ladder and this is your final VA and this VA will go to that buffer amplifier that we have just discussed. Is it okay? So, this is required for proper conversion. This is required for co proper conversion so that the voltage is do not change when the DAC conversion is taking place. Okay? So, to maintain the integrity. Right? So, this is the job of the level amplifier that signals presented to the ladder network are of same level and constant for lower and high. So, it is all of them. So, it should not be one is say 9.8 volt another is 10.1 volt is not like that. So, small variations in the circuit that is not. So, this is needed to be ensured. Okay. Now, the digital data is put is coming over here right? and this digital data is shifted okay? or read I mean when a particular stroke pulse is there otherwise it will remain at 0 0 okay so the value will this uh, this register output will remain the same it will not change only during the digital input is established okay then only a read in stroke pulse will come and that input will be uh, you know passed to the shifted to the register okay and following that it will be held till the next reading comes reading uh, strobe comes and then it will be getting converted so this also is useful for you know uh, avoiding transients or maintaining the integrity is it clear so this is also something the getting that is required and these are all and gates you can understand that how it works is it fine right now a settling time is required between data shift, so that is getting data shifted and data read okay, for this particular uh, uh, flip flops or the register that is there. Right? And once it settles, conversion is done, I mean, uh, and then you can read another data. So, this is the primary factor behind the maximum rate of conversion that is possible using a DAC. Is it clear? 
because there is a for this particular uh, registers or you know flip flops that is inside there is a finite rise time finite fall time okay so these are need to be considered in uh, deciding the maximum rate uh, of conversion of a dsc is it fine okay now comes uh, if you have uh, multiple digital input lines right and uh, you would like to convert to analog signal right so you can have as many number of dsc right and whenever you re you are reading it uh, then the flip flop register output will be you know holding it and then uh, you know truthfully and then the output will be available and the next read in comes again it will be getting converted the output will be held so that is the way it will uh, you know uh, work but uh, if you want to you know uh, save on cost uh, or you know uh, uh, if you see there is an opportunity of uh, multiplexing okay the uh, uh, time uh, uh, intervals by which you are reading the input signal is such that within that period you can uh, convert another digital data to analog and come back over here. Okay. Then you can think of using one DSE to convert multiple digital input signal. Is it fine? Okay. So, but in this arrangement we need some additional circuitry we are di discussing that part over here okay so what is it so this analog output that is coming for a particular channel right so this is the digital input lines so th this is the dsc converter and depending on whether it is channel 1 uh, input uh, digital input 1 or input 2 or input 3 so you are you know you are taking this output to one of them right so next time it is converting another channel so it is over here now what happens to this one this signal earlier if it is one dedicated dsc this signal was held by the registered output and the buffer this amplifier uh, sorry uh, this level amplifier am i clear so let me go back and uh, so this is the level amplifier which is holding it this this is there right if it is a dedicated DSE, but if it is not a dedicated DSE, if it is not a dedicated DSE, once the it comes over here, what will happen to this input, this output? Okay. For this, we need a sample and hold circuit till it comes back and reads the uh, the same uh, digital input signal and passes to the output. Okay. This is the necessity of having a sample and hold circuit if you are trying to decode multiple signal uh, digital input signal using one DAC. Is it clear? And for that, what we use uh, at the output of it? This is the you know the buffer, right? After that, you are putting a op amp and this is a uh, capacitor. So, this is a sample and hold circuit. So, this is getting sampled. This is this sampling that is uh, part that is being shown here and uh, this has got a very high input impedance for which the capacitor will be discharging very slowly. So, the output will be more or less remaining same till the next sample comes, okay. but it need to be adequately fast okay. so that it uh, does not leak, leak appreciably as though the impedance is very high. So, RC constant will be very high, but still uh, we must ensure that it does not fall to that level that the uh, integrity is lost. Is it okay? And the sampling rate depends on uh, capacitor, how as I said uh, quickly it discharges or uh, you know the voltage comes down and frequency content of the analog signal that means uh, the uh, analog signal that is produced. Okay? So, there is something called Nyquist state, you need not worry about it uh, unless uh, you already have an exposure about digital signal processing that uh, the if frequency content is a bit higher side then you need to sample it faster and if it is frequency content is less that means slow moving signal you can sample it at a lower rate. So, that is the idea. Okay?
Right. So, now we come to uh, something which is uh, related to performance issues of a DAC. Okay. So, there are more aspects regarding uh, DAC performance which we shall take up when we uh, discuss uh, ADC because certain things are common. right? So, we shall discuss them in parallel. right? So, we shall take it up when we uh, have a, a introduction to uh, analog to digital conversion in subsequent classes. Okay. So, important things are uh, of course, accuracy, right? it is a measure of how close is the actual value to the theoretical value. Of course, this is one important element. It depends on the precision resistors and the reference voltage supply, which we, we mentioned that why that particular block and additional circuitry required. Okay, or required. Okay. Next is resolution. It is the smallest increment in the voltage that can be recognized. Okay. So, this is associated with the LSB, right? It depends on the number of bits in the input digital signal. Okay. If the number of bits are small, less, okay, then of course, the uh, LSB related uh, the value will be small. If the number of bits are more, then it will be 1 upon 2 to the power uh, n or 2 to the power n minus 1, okay, depending on whether it is ladder based or a weighted register based. Okay. So, these are the two important aspects. And uh, though it looks a bit, you know, independent kind of thing, but there is certain relationship uh, between them, which we can see in these two examples. Okay, so if it is a four-bit ladder, and if it is a 16 volt reference voltage is there. Okay, just uh, you know, for quick calculation, it could be some other voltage also, and accordingly you can calculate it. So resolution will be 16 by 2 to the power 4. That is one volt. Okay. And if you are looking for an accuracy, say 0.1 percent using precision register, amplifier, and all those things, you know, then this is uh, 16 millivolt. Okay, but between one level to another level, it is one volt. You know that is different. Uh, that is there. So this is a bit on the higher side. It is a bit overkill, right? So you can use more bits to improve the resolution, right? Or even you know less precise components will do. Okay because the resolution and accuracy they are quite apart. And consider the other case say 11 bit ladder and the reference voltage say 10 volt. Okay. Then the resolution will be 10 by 2 to the power 11 this is 5 volt. And if the components that I have used and all gives an accuracy of 1 percent right? for 10 volt reference voltage accuracy is 1 percent it is 100 milli volt. So, you are trying to measure signal at 5 volt 5 millivolt interval that is the resolution but the accuracy is uh, you know the is so low that it is 100 millivolt that could be a difference then what is the point isn't it to go for such a high resolution so either you improve your uh, ac accuracy by using more precise components or you can reduce your uh, you know uh, the number of bits because it is not required i mean i mean it is again from that side that point of view it is overkill okay so, these are certain things and as you said they need to be considered together and accordingly uh, the uh, DAC uh, design is to be done. The other important uh, point is uh, in uh, when you look at a DAC it is called slew rate. So, the maximum rate at which the analog output value of the DAC can change. Okay. So, it depends on the working of the uh, output amplifier that is the op amp. So, how quickly the output can change. So, if you can you can change the uh, input right from a uh, low value say 0, 0, 0, 0 or 0, 0, 0, 1 to a suddenly a high value say 1, 1, 1, 1, but how quickly the output will change that depends on the slew rate of the uh, op amp. Okay. So, that is also an important measure. Right. Now, uh, when a DAC is made, so often we uh, consider uh, mo monotonicity test. Monotonicity test means monotonous, you know, it is uh, you know increasing uh, at the same rate. So gradually it is increasing. So that is what we uh, need to see. So if it is uh, the digital input is gradually increased, okay. So the corresponding analog input should increase in this manner. Okay, these steps are because of you know it is uh, say one volt, two volt, three volt. Like 
if it is a one uh, volt uh, you know resolution is there so that is how it will go or if it is a one millivolt resolution is there one millivolt two millivolt three millivolt and so on and so forth depending on uh, your digital input if your digital input is increased uh, you know in a continuous manner uh, you know one value at a time incremented then the output should increase in this manner is it okay this this is the one this this one is what is uh, the correct output right but if you see the actual output is something like this what you see over here in the bold line then this uh, and this can be observed using this monotonicity test okay so then there is some issue some problem somewhere okay so this test will it will give you okay right so it checks if the analog output voltage increases regularly with the increase in uh, digital input so what kind of issue could be there so for this particular example you can see so this is the blue line so this is 0011 after that it is you know uh, increased uh, uh, by one value so it should be 0100 instead what you see over here is 0000 right so that means the, there is some issue with this particular bit okay similar thing you can observe over here also so second msb there is a problem so this is a four bit second msb problem and it could be problem with the end gate or the getting of it or at the amplifier or some issue is there and accordingly you have to resolve it so this is coming from monotonicity test okay another test is steady state accuracy test it is a known digital uh, number to the register that is given and you measure the analog output voltage with a steady uh, accurate meter and compare with the theoretical value okay so that is uh, you know the accuracy that we have already talked about okay so these are important thing that you perform uh, so one example uh, we take up uh, is a practical dsc 0808 uh, so uh, from Texas Instruments, uh, you know, uh, this uh, data uh, sheet. Okay. So, uh, this particular DAC is 8 bit digital to analog converter. Okay. And you see over here it is written in this manner these are the in digital input A1 to A8. Okay. So, this is, uh, I mean, that is the way they have uh, mentioned it, but you can have a different kind of nomen nomenclature. LSB could be a not and uh, the it could be a7 and so on and so forth okay now uh, the other things that you see over here these are the power supplies okay 5 volt minus 15 volt uh, the settling time i told that uh, this uh, data read okay through the getting that read in strobe and the register uh, you know the uh, the transients rise time uh, in a small time all those getting settled so next time again you can uh, read the data that settling time is important so that uh, and it also gives a maximum rate of conversion okay i mean is the primary factor so this is your uh, 150 nanosecond okay for 0808 slew rate is said how quickly it can change the output can change uh, based on you know following a change in the input it is 8 micro milliampere per microsecond relative accuracy has been found uh, uh, to be 0.19 percent absolute accuracy it will be coming from the reference voltage and other things uh, output voltage range at pin 4 okay is small as such minus 0.6 volt to plus 0.5 volt but actually what it gives a particular range of current and when you uh, pass it through a amplifier at the output the voltage level will be different so that we shall see uh, uh, you know through an example so it is output current at pin 4 which is of importance to us which makes more sense which is 0 to i reference so i reference is coming from here so this is v reference and this is r reference if you divide by them okay so this is uh, connected from outside then you get i reference so the current uh, the change is from 0 to i reference based on the digital inputs okay and these i reference will come through this resistance and accordingly the output voltage will be generated so this is this particular output voltage is not of uh, much concern but the output current that is uh, varying because of the digital input okay that is of importance for this particular dac okay and after that there will be a amplifier like this op amp based amplifier fine right so, we look at how it works, some 
example. Okay. So, in this arrangement, uh, we had said that uh, A1 is the uh, MSB, right, and uh, A8 is the LSB. That is how it has been, you know, mentioned in the uh, uh, data sheet and all. So, but we know that uh, if, if a different kind of nomenclature is used, A0 to A7, A0 LSB and A7 is MSB, then we can just need to change. The, uh, the naming of it and the things will work out. Okay. So, we need not get confused with A 1 and uh, you know uh, this B 1 uh, their association. So, here A 1 is MSB and A 8 is LSB. Fine. So, this is what we had seen before over here A 1 is MSB right A 1 is MSB and A 8 is LSB. So, accordingly uh, it is being worked out, right. So, I reference is V reference by R reference is very clear, right. So, I naught will be I reference multiplied by whatever you are coming uh, getting from the uh, this thing, uh, this input uh, digital input data. So, this is uh, V naught is I naught into R, okay, so that at the output amplifier. So, V naught is equal to V reference by R reference, this uh, digital input uh, converted to uh, your uh, uh, corresponding analog unit, uh, uh, analog output in the ladder uh, network and multiplied by R. Is it fine? So, finally, V naught is equal to, if R is equal to R reference, so V reference into this one. Is it clear? So, this is your uh, the, the corresponding you know DAC analog output depending on the digital input that you place in the at the input side in A 1 to uh, I mean it A 8 in 8 bit 8 bits. Okay. So, if all uh, digital inputs are 0, okay, so these are all 0 value. So, V naught will be 0 volt right and if all uh, digital input are uh, 1. Okay, then the output will be 255 by 256 into V reference. So, 0 0.996 into V reference and if it is V reference is 10 volt, it will be 9.96 volt. Is it okay? Fine. So, this is how your DAC works. So, with this we come to the conclusion of uh, this particular class. So, what we have seen that buffer circuit is used at the output of the ladder not to load the network and ensure integrity of output voltage. Op amp in inverting mode and non-inverting mode uh, can be used as a buffer circuit. And we need additional circuit uh, for a DAC which uh, involves register level amplifier getting to shift uh, digital input to register all these things and that makes uh, the DAC fully functional. Okay. Settling time uh, required between data shift and data read uh, primarily decides maximum rate of conversion. Okay. And sample and hold circuit is useful when conversion is done for multiple channels using one DAC. Okay. Accuracy and resolutions are important performance metric of a DAC and the tests we have seen monotonicity test, uh, steady state rate accuracy test, these are the kind, kind, of, you know, kind of test that we perform and uh, to figure out if there are any issues in the conversion. Uh, slew rate gives maximum rate of change of analog uh, output and this is also an important quantity. Okay. And we also discussed what practical 8 bit digital to analog converter uh, DAC 0808 and uh, we found uh, how uh, it is useful in uh, converting a digital input to corresponding analog equivalent. Okay. Thank you.